This is a presentation of Taxiway Design Section 1, Runway Incursion Prevention, by the Federal Aviation Administration. This presentation discusses basic concepts in taxiway design. Airport planners and designers must understand these concepts to design a safe and efficient taxiway system. Confusing intersections can cause pilots to lose their situational awareness. Loss of situational awareness, particularly when it happens close to a runway, can result in a runway incursion. To reduce the probability of runway incursions, the airport designer must consider basic airport geometry concepts. This is particularly important when designing a taxiway system. In this example, taxiways A, B, and C intersect at a single point. Taxiway B crosses taxiway A at a 90 degree angle. Taxiway C intersects diagonally. Complex intersections like this one increase the possibility of pilot error. Signing is complicated and markings can be confusing. Good airport design practices keep taxiway intersections simple by reducing the number of taxiways intersecting at a single location and allowing for proper placement of airfield markings, signage, and lighting. To design a good intersection, begin at the airport planning phase. The best opportunity to reduce the probability of conflicts among airplanes is always during the initial planning of an airport. Present a pilot with no more than three choices at an intersection, ideally left, right, and straight ahead. This is the three-node concept. While it's not always possible, the ideal intersection is a 90-degree cross like the example shown here, with taxiway B intersecting taxiway A at a 90-degree angle. This design maximizes visibility to the crossing taxiway and clearly designates the through taxiway. Avoid taxiway to runway interfaces encompassing wide expanses of pavement. This example shows a runway end with an expanse of pavement wide enough to accommodate an arrayed row of three separate taxiways, indicated only by painted taxiway center lines. The design accommodates two signs at opposite sides of the expanse, one placed inside the expanse of pavement and the second installed outside the pavement. These wide pavements require placement of signs far from a pilot's eye. As shown here, Signs are virtually invisible to the pilot following the middle center line because of the viewing angle and the excessive distance between the signs. Low visibility conditions or a pilot's focus on the center line can magnify the problem. This is especially critical at runway entrance points. Proper taxiway design includes islands between taxiways, as shown here. In this improved design, distinct islands separate the same three taxiways from our previous example. The use of islands, as illustrated, provides the standard taxiway width and allows space for additional required signs for each taxiway. This design increases the safety of the taxiway system. Islands may be grass or, for ease of maintenance, may be artificial turf or clearly marked as unusable pavement by painting the island green and adding taxiway edge markings. During initial airport planning, focus on reducing airplane conflicts on the runway. In this example, the terminal is placed to the north of two parallel runways. Airplanes using runway 9 right, 27 left must cross the other runway to reach the terminal. This alternative design places the terminal building between the parallel runways, eliminating the need for airplanes to cross a runway when taxiing between the runways and the terminal. If the airport has a runway dedicated to general aviation use, Locate supporting facilities adjacent to their runways to make sure air carriers do not have to cross the GA runway and small airplanes do not have to cross air carrier runways. In this configuration, the main terminal and GA facilities are placed at opposite sides of the parallel primary and GA runways. While reducing the number of potential conflicts will reduce the chance of an accident, such design also reduces air traffic controller workload. In this example, parallel runways connected by taxiways at the ends of the runways are also intersected by a 90-degree taxiway crossing the middle of the runways. High-energy intersections like this one are intersections in the middle third of the runway. The middle third of the runway is the most dangerous. An airplane is moving fast and is not yet capable of flight. There is little room to stop. In this improved design, the central taxiway is removed and runway crossings are limited to the first and last thirds of the runway. In the first third, an airplane taking off is moving relatively slowly, 
and may be able to brake to avoid a collision. An airplane landing may be able to fly over a potential collision. In the final third of the runway, more room is available to stop an airplane, either landing or taking off. In some cases, an airplane taking off or executing a missed approach may have sufficient altitude to avoid a collision on the ground. Right angle intersections, both between taxiways and between taxiways and runways, provide pilots with the best visibility to the left and right. Taxiways that intersect at sharp angles make it more difficult for a pilot to see airplanes on approach or on the runway. As seen here, a pilot of a plane entering a runway at a 45 degree angle has reduced or no visibility to the section of runway behind the plane. For this reason, avoid using acute angle runway exits as runway entrances or crossing points. A right angle turn, as shown here, provides the pilot with the best visibility. A right angle turn at the end of a parallel taxiway is a clear indication to a pilot that he or she is approaching a runway. Airports occasionally relocate runway thresholds to mitigate noise or jet blast issues. A common design error is to align the taxiway with the runway, as shown in this example, where the new taxiway curves onto the runway to meet the new runway threshold. Aligned taxiways like this one are prohibited. A pilot with decreased situational awareness may not realize that the airplane is in the direct line of airplanes landing or taking off. This design makes it too easy for a pilot to inadvertently taxi onto the runway. Visibility behind the airplane is non-existent. To safely move the runway threshold, the airport must build a new stub taxiway intersecting the end of the new threshold. This redesigned example shows a new stub taxiway built to accommodate a new runway threshold and avoid the alignment of the taxiway and runway. The new taxiway intersects the runway at the new threshold. The existing unused runway pavement can be removed, painted over as unusable pavement, or used as a blast pad or stopway. Runways used as taxiways and taxiways used as runways can lead to confusion and create a potential for incursions and conflict between an airplane taxiing and one taking off or landing. A runway should always be clearly identified as a runway and only a runway. Such standardized markings ensure that a pilot encountering white runway markings or yellow taxiway markings will always at least be aware of whether he or she is on a runway or a taxiway, even if his or her situational awareness is diminished. In this aerial photograph of an airport, airplanes are lined up for takeoff at the end of a runway that is being used as a taxiway. Upon landing, any pilot can mistake the runway on the left, being used as a taxiway, for the active runway on the right, resulting in a catastrophe. Do not design taxiways to lead directly from an apron to a runway, as shown here, where the taxiway leads to and crosses the runway at a 90 degree angle. Straight line configurations like this one can lead to confusion when a pilot typically expects to encounter a parallel taxiway. A pilot missing the hold sign and marking placed between the taxiway and runway may proceed onto the runway without clearance. This improved configuration jogs the access points from the apron to the taxiway to create intersections that require a pilot to make a conscious turn from the parallel taxiway to enter the runway. The distance between the taxiway exiting the apron and the one accessing the runway should be sufficient to clearly align an airplane on the parallel taxiway. This example shows a taxiway placed along the edge of the apron. The apron is a wide expanse of pavement with painted lines marking the limit of the apron, the center line of the taxiway, the taxiway edge, and the aircraft parking limit line. A pilot taxiing from the left end of the ramp could mistake the runway for a parallel taxiway. The improved design, shown here, separates the taxiway from the apron by placing islands between several new taxiway access paths. Note that the new edge of the apron is where the aircraft parking limit line used to be, so there is no loss of parking area for airplanes on the ramp. A hotspot is a location on an airport movement area with a history of potential risk of collision or runway incursion, and where heightened attention by pilots and drivers is necessary. Relying on heightened attention by pilots is not an adequate long-term solution to hotspots. Non-standard geometries must be corrected. Any of the design flaws we have discussed can be designated as a hotspot. Hotspots are identified in FAA airport diagrams.
This airport diagram uses circles and labels to highlight four hotspots. Let's look at an example of a hotspot and see how it can be improved. In this example, we have several design flaws. A straight taxiway leads directly from the apron to runways. The runway taxiway intersection is at a 45 degree angle, and the taxiway connects with two runways where they intersect. The redesign shown here addresses these flaws. First, the straight taxiway is reconfigured. The new taxiway has a stem connecting to the apron at 90 degrees and splits to run parallel with the apron. Both ends of the taxiway curve to connect to separate runways. This redesign creates indirect runway access, forcing pilots to complete two turns to enter a runway. Second, the new runway taxiway and taxiway taxiway intersections are at 90 degrees. Finally, each taxiway intersects only one runway. When runways or taxiways are subject to reconstruction or rehabilitation, airports must place a priority on redesigning hotspots. This has been a presentation of Taxiway Design Section 1, Runway Incursion Prevention, by the Federal Aviation Administration. Produced by Joint Venture Solutions.